Hi. <laughs> she did it on her own. Thanks for joining us today. I've got a full body dumbbell workout for you today. Here at Benefit Fitness, we do 30 minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, also some nutritional tips to help you along in your fitness journey. So why don't you go grab yourself a set of dumbbells or something else around your house that weighs a little bit and we are gonna get this workout started. Let's do it. Pick those knees up. Just gonna get the blood flowing for about 30 seconds. Let's go, people. If you've been sitting for a while, move those feet. Good. 10 more seconds and we'll go into our squats. Get them up. Three, two, one, and wide legs. Let's squat. Down and up. Sit into those heels. Push those knees out so we're externally rotating those hips. Sit low, chest up. Good, let's go for five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Legs wider, arms out. Let's do windmills. Reach your toe, look up at your hand. Windmill those arms, twist. Good, send that hip back. Don't just bend over. Really kind of sending that hip back. Bending one leg, straighten the other. Let's go for five, and four, up, and three, up and two and one reverse lunge to a side bend arms up in the air lunge back with that right leg let your knee set on the ground side bend to the left nice big stretch and switch left knee rests on the ground side bend to your right and up come on move through it a little bit quicker we want to keep that heart rate slightly up side bend up and down good let's go four more this is one down for two and three. Last one. We'll do our inchworms. Hinge down, stretch those hamstrings. Walk out in the plank position. When you're in your plank position, keep those shoulders away from your ears. Hips down, chest up. Press back up into downward dog. Walk in, keep those legs as straight as you can. Walk it back out. Hips down. Tuck those shoulders down your back as you're shawing your chest. Press back up, we'll go two more. Back down. Well, one more stretch after this. Okay, let's go down, stay in your plank position. After your hips come down, chest up. Plank position, now step right foot outside right hand. Nice big stretch. Plank position, left foot outside left hand. Keep that back leg straight. And right, back and left. Back and right, back and left. Back two more, right, back, and left. Plank, downward dog, walk it all the way back in. All right, you guys, we have three strength movements today to start with. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, three times. First one, we've done these before. It's been a while though. Grab your weights, set them up on your shoulders. We are doing a duck walk. You go into our squat position, we stay here, 40 seconds, and we waddle. Notice my feet stay wide, my knees stay out, forward, Walk backwards, okay? This is your movement for 40 seconds. Second exercise, we're gonna do push-ups to shoulder taps. Set your weights down, perfect push-up. At the top, keep those hips still, tap your shoulder. Back, push-up, opposite side, tap your shoulder. Final exercise is a pull to a reach. I'm gonna come sideways. So you're gonna reach your arms overhead, squeeze your tush, arms off the head, pull down to a goal post, reach back up and down. Okay, so a reach, Pull and reach, okay? Those are our first three movements. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Let's do it. All right, get those weights up by your shoulders. We're walking like a duck. All right, squat and walk forward. Stay low, wind those legs and back. Sit to those heels. If you wanna quack, you can quack. How's your quack, Brad? Not great. You gotta practice quacking. Baby's gonna want you to quack. Come on, stay low, you guys. Sit, sit, sit. Big chest, keep those weights up by your shoulders. You wanna hold them in front of your chest like so. You can hold them in front of your chest. Get lower. Stay, stay low. Come on, squeeze the tush. Really focus on your glutes, not just your quads or your knees. Two, one. 
All right, send them down. Now we're doing our push movement, push-ups. If you have an incline and you want to go to an incline to the straight push-up as a challenge, you can do that. If you need to go to your knees, go to your knees, but let's push up. Tap those shoulders. When you tap your shoulder, make it slow and controlled. Don't let that hip deviate from side to side. Keep that chin tucked back. Don't let your head reach the floor first. We don't want to have a crooked spine. Come on, let's go. Keep those elbows pushed back about 45 degrees. Don't let them flare. Come on, you guys. Eight seconds. Down and up, knock it out. Couple more. Breathe. All right, everybody's tummy on the ground. Arms are gonna start straight. You're gonna squeeze feet, push your feet all the way together, legs together. Brad, legs together. Legs together, up. Keep lifted, pull down, push up, and relax. Everything up, pull, pinch your shoulder blade down your back, and reach and relax. Up, down, reach, relax. Up, down, reach, relax. Keep looking straight at the ground. Don't look up at the screen. Look down, keep that chin tucked down. Come on, let's go. And reach, relax. Up, reach, down, reach, relax. Up, pull, reach, relax. Up, pull, reach, relax. Almost there. All right, back up you guys. Grab those weights for that duck walk. Come on, squat low, squat low. Get low and creep. Small steps. Stay low, stay low. Sit into your heels. And back. Sit. And sit. 30 seconds. We've got it. We can do it together. Big chest, make sure we're not rounding forward. Sit into your squat. Looks good, Brad. Amy, looking strong. You two squat, keep it up. Good, sit. Walk forward, wider feet. Make sure your feet aren't just super close. Be in your squatted position. Five, sit, keep your core strong. Two, one, stand. All right, push-ups. We do push-ups all the time, they're so great. Get ready, don't let those hips move from side to side. We tap your shoulders, ready, and go. Let's go, you guys. Come on, let's go. Push up, tap that shoulder. Down and up. Keep those hips square. Down and push. Breathe. Focus on pulling your chest down to the ground. Push your chest away. Solid hips. Tap your shoulder. Don't swing from side to side. Down. Up. Let's go. Good, good. Come on. Pull and push. That's it. All right. Down on the ground, you guys. Remember, when you reach up, keep your uh, chin tucked down, looking down at the ground, okay? Up, pull, reach, down. Keep, keep your legs pressed together. Up, pull, reach, down. Up, pull, reach, down. Up, pull, reach, down. Keep your palms always facing the ground. Pinch your shoulder blades down. Reach. Don't shrug your shoulders when you reach. Keep your shoulders down. Away from your ears, even in that reach. We're almost there. Good, good. Keep it up, you guys. Four, three, two, one. All right, back up. Do your duck walks. Brad magically disappeared. Baby crying. So just me and you guys, come on, get ready. Squat and walk, get low, get low. Walk it forward, walk it back, stay low. Sit, can you go lower? Sit into those heels, wider legs, wide. But try not to like dance and swing, stay uh, weight central over your, your feet, okay? Let's do it, sit, 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 15 seconds, wide legs. Keep your core strong. You should not be feeling this in your low back. If you are, tighten your core like I'm gonna come punch your gut, okay? Keep that core tight. You have to be mindful of that, otherwise your low back might take over. Two, one, 
Yes, all right. Back down in your push-up position. Last round of these exercises, and we're doing some more, three more movements. Get ready. <clears throat> push up to tap. And tap. Down. And tap. Down. And tap. Come on, you got it. Go at your pace. <sighs> Pull yourself down, push yourself away. Don't let your neck sag or chin reach the ground. <sighs> Keep it tucked back. Often we think we get lower because our head just reaches for the ground. That's not the case. You want your chest to reach first. Chest before your hips. Don't let that chin hit the ground first. Good, you guys, let's go, let's go. We're almost there. If you have five seconds, you can give me two more. That's it. And, whoo. All right, last one. Down on the ground. Hold the reach. Arms straight up, palms down. Push your legs together, squeeze your toes. Everything off the ground. Reach down, pull down, and reach. Up, pull, reach, down. Up, pull down. Good, really be intentional about feeling your back as your arms come down and not letting those shoulders do all the work. Up, 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 squeeze your tush. Legs press together every time. Push those legs together as they come off the ground. Almost there. Keep it up. Up, pull, reach, down. Up, four, three, two, one. All right, you guys. Good work. Okay, we're gonna move on. Catch your breath. I'm gonna reset my timer. Three more movements. Grab your weights. We're gonna start with a hinge in a row, single leg. We've done these touchdowns before. I'm gonna come sideways so you see me. Put that leg back as it kicks in. You're gonna hinge back. You're gonna row to a standing. Hinge back, row to standing. If you feel comfortable, take that toe off the ground. Come back and pull. We'll switch at 20 seconds. Exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna go to a wall. Our famous tricep push-up. Too bad Brad's missing out because he loves these. You're gonna come with your forearms on the wall. Press up. Notice my elbow pits. The tops of my elbows point the ceiling. Then elbows come down. I don't wanna see people rotate around so your elbows point towards one another, okay? Up. That's exercise two. Exercise three, curl to a punch. Grab your weights. You're gonna bicep curl from here. You're gonna flip your palms under, over to a punch. Come right back in, elbows to your side, and down. Curl, punch, down. Okay, those three movements. Let me get my timer started. You all ready? Hinge, you can do a double leg hinge or a single leg, whatever you feel comfortable. Five seconds. I will show singles. Get ready, and go. This is slow and controlled. Those hips stay square, and you pull elbows to your side. Right back down, stay on one leg for the first 20 seconds. Slow, hinge back. Elbows to your side, and then right back down. If you need to put your toe down, put your toe down and pull. Okay, switch legs. Focus on a point on the ground that's not moving. Don't look at yourself if you have a mirror. You'll often wobble because you're moving, which makes you get, move, which makes you get wobbly. Or even if you're staring at me on the screen and I'm moving, you may get wobbly. Find a point on the ground. Push through the floor. Good. It's back. All right. Nice job, you guys. Go to your wall. We're doing our tricep push-ups. These are surprisingly sneakily hard. The lower down you are, the further, the harder it will be. The higher up you are, the easier it will be. So elbows are, forearms are vertical to the ground. When you press up, those elbow pits are straight for the ceiling. Down and up. Lock your shoulders down your back. Try not to let them shrug up to your shoulders. Good, think about yourself as a moving plank. If you wanna make it harder, move your hands further down your wall. Good, press those elbow pits towards the ceiling. So your creases of your elbows are reaching towards the ceiling. They're not pointing towards one another, towards the ceiling. Five more seconds. Go, 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 you can do it. Push, all right. Your curl and punches. So after you punch, bring your elbows right back into your side. Notice my weight is still up. Then I curl. So curl, punch, in, down. Curl, my weights are by my shoulders. Punch, straight arm. Now my weights are back by my shoulders before I come back down. Curl, punch, in, down. Curl, punch, in, down. If your weight's too heavy, 
That weight could get heavy for me. You can curl, reach with one weight. That's up to you. Okay, 15 seconds. Curl, punch, in, down. Curl, punch, in, down. Let's go, keep those shoulders away from your ears. Always work on your posture and all these movements. Focus on your posture, super important. Yes, one round down. Two more to go. So our hinges, remember, kickstand or no kickstand. Okay, just switch halfway. Really focus on loading the hamstring and the glutes of that back leg. So hinge, row, then drive through that heel, hip forward. Hips reach back and your hips are square to the ground. Don't let those hips open up, okay? Keep them square. So the good stability, foot and ankle control, and then we're rowing, big chest, pull elbows to your sides. All right, switch legs, switch legs. Let's go, you guys. Good. Focus on not letting your body get too wobbly. Good control in your hamstring and your glute. Driving through the floor with your big toe, little toe heel. Yes, okay, tricep push up. Go to your wall. If you weren't fatigued by the end of the first round, start lower, put those hands lower. You better challenge yourself. This is only 30 minutes. If you're not challenged by the end of the 40 seconds in either of these rounds, find a way to challenge yourself, adding more instability. If the single leg hinge is too easy, move those arms lower if this tricep push-up is too easy. Nice and controlled. Big chest, don't let your shoulders shrug up or forward. Focus on your hips staying square. Don't let your hips come out. You are a moving plank right now. Squeeze your tush, squeeze your quads. Down and up. You got this. You both have got this, good. All right, curl and push. Curl and punch. Keep saying push, punch, punch, punch. Okay, palms up. Curl, punch, in, down. Curl, punch, in, then when, when you punch, try not to like shrug those shoulders to reach. Keep your shoulders down. Have good posture at all times. You're tall, you're strong, you've got it. And reach, and down. That's it, you guys. We have 15 seconds. Pull it in, punch it out, and then pull it back, elbows to your side. Focus on those biceps. Almost there, we have five, and three, and two, and one. Woo, one more round. Okay, this pull time, if you aren't fully challenged, I want you to take that foot off the ground. Try it, shoulders down, stay stable. Nice, to reach those hips back. Then pull your elbows to your side. Not overextending, they should not fly behind you like bird wings. Okay, hips back, pull. Focus on your back. Back and biceps in that pull. Not your shoulders, not your traps. One more. Okay, switch legs. Good control. We do these movements, these hinge movements often. If you come to our class a lot, I really want you to focus on that form. Get better every time. Sometimes the weights might not fully challenge us, but we're still trying to perfect our form. That's more important than having super heavy weights. Two, one. All right, set those weights down. Get lower on those tricep push-ups if you can. Focus on your plank. Don't send those hips out, okay? Hips down, nice straight line, up and down. Your body does not break. Keep a perfect plank, squeeze your quads. Come to your toes, you're not flat-footed. Flat -footed. Toes, down and up, move those hands lower if you want, and then toes back a little bit. If you, it needs to be harder. You can make it harder, this is your last set. I know you can. Even if it's just a quarter of an inch, make the, move those hands down, just a quarter of an inch for the final 12 seconds. Come on, move them down, you can do it. A few more reps. Big chest, elbow pits towards the ceiling, push. Almost there. Good, good. Last one, perfect. All right, final exercise with this circuit. Remember, posture, we're tall, we're strong. Soft knees, curl, punch, in, down. Curl, punch, in, down. Let's do this. We are strong. Get it done, you guys. Come on, keep it up. Woo! Big chest, focus on your biceps. Focus on tall posture as you reach. 
and back down. Curl, punch, in, down. Curl, punch, in, down. Get it done. Keep it up, you guys. You only have 11 seconds. Breathe. Almost there. Class is almost done. We have one more circuit. Stay strong in this last one here, though. Three, two, one. Woo! Good job, you guys. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Let me show you three no more exercises. All right, we're gonna start on the ground for the first two. Okay, so we're gonna do hamstring walkouts, no weight. You get into your glute bridge position. We've done these often. So elbows bent at 90. You're just gonna walk with your heels, keeping those ribs tucked down into, notice my butt's not on the ground. And I'm gonna walk it right back in. This is working your hamstring, so working your glutes. As you're extended, keep those ribs tucked down. Notice my butt's not on the ground. Exercise one, exercise two. You do a sit up to a press. Keep those weights by your shoulders. You're gonna lead with the chest. You're gonna sit up, tall posture, reach overhead. Notice I'm in a straight line. I'm not reaching forward. Bring them back down, slow, come down. That's exercise two. Exercise three, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a rear fly and kick back, okay? So we're gonna kick, the, we're gonna hinge over. We're gonna kick as we fly behind us. We're gonna kick, we're using our glutes, fly those weights behind you. So. Working behind our shoulders and our glutes and our kickbacks. Okay, if your weights are too heavy, mine are gonna get heavy, I'll probably just drop it and do body weight. So they're small muscles, you have to focus on your form. Got it guys, lay down on the ground, five seconds. Get ready, get ready. We're down on the ground, press up into your glute bridge, elbows are bent, walk out. Keep those ribs tucked down, straight line, squeeze your twist, slowly inch back in. As you inch in, keep those hips up into your full glute bridge. Tuck your ribs down, don't let your low back arch. Good, if you can't go into the full walkout, that's fine. Only walk out about three or four steps, walk back in. So if you just wanna walk out four, walk in, that's fine. Or walk all the way out, pause, walk right back in. Keep those elbows bent. If you're down, if your hands are too far down, you may end up pushing too much with your upper body, not focusing on your lower body. Come on you guys, let's do this. All right. Sit up, grab your weights. You can even start overhead position. So we're nice tall posture. So we're seated correctly. And then bring them down. Slow and control. Lower down inch by inch. Lead with the chest. Look up towards the ceiling and press. I want you to try not to just round forward, chin to your chest. Don't do that. Keep your chin away from your chest. Look up, look up and reach. Try to keep those legs straight. Flex those toes towards your shins. Good. That's a bit of a challenge. Take the weights away. Just keep your hands by your thumb, thumbs by your shoulders. Sit up and reach. That's a modification if you want. Five more seconds. You can give me a couple more. Up, reach. Good. All right. So palms face your body. Your pinkies are gonna lead the way behind you. As your pinkies go behind you, you're kicking that leg back like a donkey kick. Okay, so we're kicking and flying behind. So rear fly to a kick and kick, drive with that heel. Kick, flex your foot, kick, back and forth, kick, straight leg, kick. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Don't shrug them, you're gonna work your traps, you're gonna neck and you're gonna feel it up there uncomfortably. Good, think about down below your scapula, driving back, you'll feel it to the back of your shoulders. Kick, keep those hips square. Don't kick and turn your hips, okay? Toes are always pointing towards the ground. Kick and kick. I'm going a little bit slower to make sure I'm stable in my foot. All right, that was one round. We're almost done. Two more rounds. All right, elbows bent, palms face one another, drive those hips up. Shoulders away from your ears. Inch, walk it out nice and slow. Nice and controlled, full extension. Tuck those ribs down. Walk it back in and up. All the way up, good, and down. Walk, walk, walk it out, walk it out, yes. Walk it in, walk it in. You've got it, hips up, ribs down, walk it out. Keep that core on or your low back is gonna arch. You're gonna feel a strain or just extra tightness. You will feel a little bit back there as your body is stabilizing, but you don't wanna feel it arch and pull. Okay, all the way out, all the way back in. Come on, you guys, you've got this, you have two, one, all right, sit up to press. Start with straight legs, tall posture, toes flex towards your shins. 
Reach up overhead, ready, get set, lower down, slow and controlled, lower down, power it up, push overhead, reach, lead with your chest, and down, lead with the chest, 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 chest is reaching for the sky, and then reach, and down. Try to keep those feet straight up towards the ceiling, and down, slow and controlled. Focus on your form. Try not to use momentum. If you need to use momentum, by all means, that's totally okay. A straight leg sit up is a bit of a challenge, especially when you add weight to it. Reach. You're doing it right. And down. Good. Three, two, one. Yes. All right. So remember, your palms face you. Your pinkies come behind so your palms face one another, okay? Palms face you. The palms facing each other, pinkies behind. And then add that kick, kick, kick. Make sure you're leading with the heel in that kick. Good, you guys. Breathe. Keep your core solid. Don't arch your back in that kick. Just reach straight behind you. It's not about how high you get it. That's gonna arch your back. Just kick straight behind. You've got it. Focus on Stability in the planted leg, that's gonna work that, you're gonna feel in that glute, and then in the kickback as well. Work your back, work your shoulders. We're rocking it. All right, one more round. Last round, you guys. Last round of each movement, so get down, challenge yourself the best you can. If you want, you can raise your arms up too. A little bit more unstable position. Heels all the way out. Full extension, pause. Feel you fire up your core, fire up those hamstrings. Slowly inch it in. You can go as many steps as you want with control, or you can just do two to four if it's a little bit harder. Pause, walk it back in. Keep your core solid. Fire up your booty. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. They're turning on. All the way in. You're almost there, you have eight seconds. You can give me another rep out. Good control, pause. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Mine started to creep up. Good. All right, grab your weight. Sit up, feet together, tall posture. Start overhead. Get ready, get set, and drop it down. And slowly lower down. Breathe with the chest, get up, reach up. Slowly lower down. Good, you guys. Breathe. Breathe with the chest, up, 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 and reach. Nice work. This is a controlled movement. Lead with the chest. Try not to arch your back. Good, good, good. And reach. Almost there. 10 more seconds. Up. And down, controlled. Get it up. Reach. All right, final 40 seconds. Stand up. Palms start facing one another, facing your body, and then they come neutral so they face each other as you fly behind. Hinge over, fly and kick, stay hinged over. Your chest should be almost parallel, I guess it's more 45 degrees, but it shouldn't be like up like this, okay? So hinge over and kick, and kick. Let's go, kick, fly and kick. Toe pointing towards your shin so your foot is flexed. Driving through that with that heel and kick and kick. Shoulders stay away from your ears. Keep your shoulder blades down your back like they're reaching for your back pockets. Woo! There you go, my friends. Great job. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us in this workout. Brad's gonna come say hello. He missed out. We were lifting weights. Here, they were lifting weights on their own. We were lifting weights in there. Hi, cutie. Thanks for coming, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. I'm so happy you worked out with me today. Sorry Brad had to step away. Baby needed to work out on her own. Didn't want to work out with us. Um, but we love to have you here. Remember to like our channel, subscribe to our channel, even leave feedback. We love to hear what you have to say. If you want to leave some comments, that's awesome. And we will see you next time.